celebrating the 4th of July, but did you know that the 5th of July is the busiest day of the year for animal shelters? Here to tell us why and what we can do to help is our pet expert, Larissa. Hi, That's Larissa. Me. <laughs> All right, now put this in perspective for us. How many animals are we talking about? This is one of the worst days of the year for shelter I... people, shelter workers, people who foster, rescue, all of it, because there's an influx of animals that get brought into shelters. Uh... So 30% more animals that are usually taken in by shelters are brought in on July the 5th. 4th to the 6th, that Why? whole period of time. So you walk through a kennel and you see two, three dogs oh in a gosh. kennel. Sometimes they're lucky and they only have one. And that time of year, it can be, you know, four and five. Oh. Because so many animals get freaked out by fireworks. I know. They, the families have parties and people forget to close the doors. Sure. People don't think ahead and plan for their animals if they're going out of town. There's a myriad oh. of reasons. A lot of them have to do with runaways because because of the fireworks and just the different environment with people coming in and they freak out. It's oh, not no. natural for them to hear loud noises like that. And they can pick up on, on things that we can't right. and then yes. they bolt. So sure. shelters really have a hard time. I mean, that's so true. If you've ever been to oh. a, like a party or someone's doing fireworks and you hear the dogs in the neighborhood, how they freak out if they're outside, it's so yes. true. So what can we do to help the dogs? The biggest thing, and you know, I, I did some math. I'm not good at math. <laughs> but you know, let's say a shelter gets 15 dogs in a day of runaway ways that's about you know almost 20 dogs you know five extra and that over time is what really there's no takes place. so much on their resources sure. so what, going back to what you just said what can you do the biggest thing is save or clear room is really what it's about clear and the room. shelter and think about it if you have a house with five rooms and you have one dog in each and all of a sudden 30 yeah. dogs come to your house right. you have nowhere yeah. to put them sure. tough decisions have to be made it's math it's simple math so do they turn them away if they don't have space no it's government run shelters and uh and what am I trying to say? County and city shelters cannot turn animals okay. away. They are open intake, so there is really nowhere for them to go. Oh, and gosh. that's when a lot of problems have to happen or decisions have to happen yeah. where animals need to be cleared out for room. So there are two really cool things that okay. people can do that I urge everybody here to do and everybody watching to do. Okay. One is... Best Friends Animal Society is putting on this amazing promotion right now, and it's called Pay It Forward. What you talked about at yes. the top of the show. Yes, and so this is about, you know when you go to Starbucks or coffee and you get to the front of the line and the person behind you just paid for you, and yeah. it's like, how cool yeah. is that? So this is a way you can sponsor an animal. It's 25 bucks, not a huge commitment, and that means the person that goes to adopt an animal gets it for free. So you oh, can go to wonderful. their website. All you do is pay the $25. Then let's say you, Debbie, go and adopt... Fido, and it's been paid for, maybe you think, you know what, I'm going to pay it forward well, and sure. pay $25 yeah. for the next Because I'm person. going in with the intention of adopting and know I'm going to have to pay, so yes. if I get there, yeah. I said, well, I might yeah. as well pay for somebody else. And a lot of, you know, we had a dog on today from Best Friends LA, but this is Best Friends National. Oh, great. And they have 270 shelter partners. Wow. So it doesn't have to be a Best Friends shelter. You can go to 270 shelters across the U.S., and they are having this promotion through July 4th. And their goal is to save 10,000 animals in the next 10 days. That Aww. way, they great. let up so many kennels yeah. for all those runaway dogs that are coming in. So That's it's wonderful. huge. It's a big, big, big thing. Everybody can do their part. It's really 25 bucks. It's not sure. It's not I, crazy. I have a weird question. Yes. With all those dogs that end up, that run away, how many of them eventually get paired back up with oh. their owners? Well, or, or do some of them just end up stuck there? A well, lot actually, of them. you have a, a happy tale to tell. Don't yes. You? About well, a woman yes. Named Stephanie who took uh, part in the last year. Yes, yes, I do. And that was not not a reunion, but uh, another really cool idea. Um, and I'm going to get back to you okay. on your question in just a second. Let me talk about this, and then right. I'm going to tell you about yours. And this idea is actually something you can do, Ken. Okay. So I know your kids <laughs> want dogs. Yes. You don't. Correct. I know you have one. Accurate. Um, but why not foster for four days. Oh, if he oh, fosters, right? he's keeping the dog. Just <laughs> so you know. No, but it's Let him probably with the specific the dog. period. They hear yeah. it. I okay. think that makes That dog's difference. not leaving your house. So foster the dog <laughs> and you're keeping it. That's how it works. So kind of how I started, there, <laughs> there's the period. best friend's promotion. That's something you can do right now to help save an animal. Here's the second thing you can do. It's called Four Days for Freedom. Every shelter and, and rescue right now is 
desperate yeah. for fosters. If you go on any of their social media page or Instagram, they are all posting and they are offering that you can foster for just four days and help them clear that space just yeah. temporarily because they know there's going to be an April coming for I would totally do that. I would yeah. totally yeah. do that. It's a That's really a program. awesome program and it truly is saving lives. And as you were That's saying, great. I You're going to fall in love with the dog ink. <laughs> yeah. Just make sure I get I the dog that I, you that I despise. No. Well, no, I know how you are. Which one no. do I dislike most? He's going to be in there DIYing dog houses. And all kinds. Oh my gosh, but I've made such a fabulous dog house. We can't give the dog away now. So wait, I have an amazing happy tale of a yes. dog that got saved through this program last year. A woman named Stephanie went into a local L.A. shelter and said, I want, I want to bring a dog for, in for four days. I feel like that would be doing a great thing. She wanted a dog that nobody else wanted. She found in the back, in the medical unit, this, this 12-year-old senior lab named Woody. She said, Aww. okay, I'm taking Woody home. Woody had never slept in a bed. Woody had never played with a ball. What? He had medical what? issues. He had no idea what being a dog was. Aww. She took him in. She gave him a, this is his first bath. Look at this guy. Oh Look at his gosh. face. And she thought, you know, what? I am not oh. giving this dog back. She ended up starting an Insta Instagram page called Adopt Woody, and it went viral. Oh. And Woody then found his forever home through that, and it just look at this. Oh. Look at his face. Oh. Look at the difference. And she had him for just about two weeks before he found his right. forever home. Never yeah. had to go back into that concrete cage again. Oh and that's why we we're joking about you adopt, right. you know, yeah. fostering right. for four days. But even if you decide not to keep the right. dog, yeah, you can find you can yeah. help yeah. find somebody and be that avenue that right. gets that dog into their permanent home. And this is happening all over the country oh, over the next Larissa. couple of weeks that's because right. This is the biggest push. And your question about reuniting, it does happen. A lot of people are wonderful and microchip and tag yeah. their animals, right. and that's another great thing that everybody can do this time of year if they have it. And there are reunions, but not as many as you'd as you, like. Right. And unfortunately, as I said, it's all about math. And when there isn't enough space for the amount of animals, oh, Larissa. it's just heartbreaking. So please do your part. Save an animal right, right. now and give freedom to not only yourself this 4th of July, but the dogs. But do and you know what we're going to do? We are going to do our part. And all of us here at the show are going to pay it forward. So we are going to go to bestfriends.org and make a donation so somebody else then can take those doggies and Yay. pay it for them. Yay. For more information, you all go to SaveByTheL.com. And to make a do donation like we're going to do, make sure you check out bestfriends.org. You all stick around, because up next, lifestyle expert Don Russell is giving us detox tips that we can all do at home. Hey, Don. For all you brides, grooms, and guests of a wedding, I am going to help you be your best on the day and help you the day after. <laughs>